Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Saga from Legacy. In this video, we will be fighting Musa with the Dojo rematch team that I made earlier this week. Uh, this team is purely based on synergies and combos that you can use to your advantage to defeat all the Dojos regardless of whatever Temtems they have. All you need to have is a basic understanding of, a, of the typings of Temtems and try to understand how the AI works. So with that being said, let me go ahead and jump into this Dojo. But if you want to know more information about this team, how the combos work and why exactly is this team made or how is it made, I have a separate video completely on that. I will link it in the description and comments as well and you can also click on the i button up there to just go directly to that video. It will explain you in details about that. With that being said, let's go into this. So looking at Musa's team from above, we don't have anything to worry about as of right now that I directly see as a threat. So maybe we just go ban Gulder because we don't really have a hard counter for Gulder. Kino is already banned so you will be starting something else. So let's just go ahead and start with Mushuk. I want Mushuk's counters to be coming in here. So what I will do is I will start with Oshiara so they will pick up Grasses. So let's go ahead and start Oshiara. I'm pretty sure they pick Cernip Kino which is what we want as a Mushuk. So let's go pick the Mushuk in now. This is how you play the AI. You pick something that you want the counters to be in for the actual tem that you want to pick and then you just swap this one out and you will have a good time. So let's go ahead and ban this Yovlar because we don't need this in. Let's take our own Wolfie takes care of Size Munch, Grumper and two rocks. So that's really good for us. Take this and last but not the least take the Fire Koish to just take care of if something goes wrong and it's gonna be our turn one swap as well possibly. So let's go into this match <coughs> with full power. Kino is gonna be a problem for us for sure. It's gonna hit Mushuk pretty hard on turn 1 itself. So I'm gonna try to wipe out the Kino if I can. Let's just see if I can do that. Just go with the wastewater. Aquatic Whirlwind. Just try to kill it if I can before it attacks. Sadly, I don't think we might be able to, but let's try our best to see if we can. And we were successfully able to just delete that out of the page, which is really, really big for us. The reason why I say that is because you will see now I can just swap this out for anything I would like. So I'll just take Yovlar and do another wastewater. Since my Moshuk is tireless, what this means is that when overexerted, the turn penalization gives plus one attack. I have my stamina on zero just because I want it to be like that. It brings me so that when I use this, I will overexert by one stamina, which means I get plus one attack. The best part is the plus one attacks comes before the attack, so it's gonna hurt even more when I do this. So let's go with that. Look how the attack goes first. The attack plus, I mean the buff comes in first and then the attack goes. So let's see how it goes on this one. Yeah, it doesn't matter, so it might hit us a little bit, but it overexerts, so that's fine for us. The attack buff came in first, the wastewater goes in, the toxic peak is there. Now, the thing is. <coughs> Mushuk is already out of stamina. Now all you're gonna do is you either go full suicidal mode which is completely go crazy with them like do another uppercut if you want to play safe, lose a little bit of HP but at this point your aim is to overexert every single turn no matter what. So it depends on you if you want to overexert a little bit by doing small damage or you want to go with the big chunk. So I'm gonna go ahead with the big chunk here on this Cerneaf. So let's go plus one attack again and probably kills it but maybe not so yeah it's a bit of a tanky cerny still really good you know plus attacks stacking up really nicely on us that hit us pretty hard actually i did not expect that much damage coming in and it actually lives another turn now that is problematic for us i'm just gonna go ahead and oh she dash it is out of here and try another wastewater here Plus one attack again and it will be killing that Cerneaf. If it was anything else I'm pretty sure it could have one shot that with wastewater as well. This is usually why I run aloe vera on Mushuk as well. It's really really good for the combo that I'm using but 
if you don't have the tireless mushuk you should go with the barrier and the coat as an item let's jump into the wolfie because i believe wolfie takes care of everything the other team has now by its left hand or right hand whichever you prefer so let's go ahead and just hibernate on yovla if we want or we can just rest actually and just plague so we will basically plague the seismunch first because seismunch is not weak to yovlar and we need to remember that so let's go ahead and plague the seismunch first get him down we don't want to deal with this seismunch later on and have problems with it so you need to know which one is weak to what accordingly like probably next turn this wolfie might not even be alive so it's better to kill the seismunch first to get rid of it than to deal with it later on so let's go ahead and Oshi Dashi the Grumper. The thing is I could still swap but this Oshiara can just come in whenever I want and one shot either one of them because it has hurry ward. Aquatic whirlwind is up. I don't need to worry about it. So let's go ahead and kill this uh, Seismunch right away with the Wolfie. So Grumper is going to do some kind of damage for sure. It's not that much but still quite a decent chunk. Kills the Yovlar. As I said, Oshiara is more than enough to wipe this off by herself. If not, then Wolfie is just gonna clean it up as well. With that being said, guys, that would be it for this video. If you like the content that you're watching, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as the video goes live. If you have any suggestions for any kinds of videos that you would like drop them in the comments below i'll be more than happy to take all the feedback that would be all for me guys i'll catch you guys in the next video stay safe and take care of yourself